Hi, I'm Patrick with JP Enterprises, here to talk about the Law Folder Conversion Kit that we have to take your buffer and spring system to our SES. So we offer this conversion in two ways. One if you have an SES and one if you don't. We do have this specialized one that is already set up for you, or you if you have an SES and you want to convert it to the Law Folder, you can get this special conversion kit with the adapter and there's instructions on how to change it over. So today we're going to talk about how to just swap over the standard law folder to an SES version. Two things that we want to talk about before we get started. One thing to watch out for is major deformation in the face of the SES and that's due to not enough tension on the carrier. So you're going to see that when you do your regular maintenance. We're going to cover that on how to do this in this installation video. This is easily avoided by following the instructions in this video but always something to watch out for. Second thing we want to talk about is safety. Please wear your safety glasses. Two of these components that you're going to work with today are under spring tension. One of the guys in the shop actually had one of these buffer retainer pins come out doing the same thing and hit him in the safety glasses and put a big dent in it. So please wear your safety glasses. So let's get started with that. We're going to assume you already have a law folder. If you don't, you can follow the instructions in the law folder assembly until you get to the buffer assembly part. And then you're going to pick up here. So first we're going to take out the buffer and spring. Open this guy up and you're going to press your depress your buffer here. Sometimes it gets caught on the spring. From there you're going to take off your butt pad or your, your stock. Take your mag pull wrench. Undo your castle nut. Now just be careful when you're starting to take the castle or the uh, buffer tube off to have some pressure on this buffer retainer. It is under spring tension, so it can come out at some high velocity. Pull this guy out, and we'll take our our mil spec buffer retainer pin, and we're going to convert it to our silent capture buffer retainer pin. Now there is a right way and a wrong way to put this in. There is a notched portion in this retainer. That notched portion is going to go towards the back. The spring here is a little tricky sometimes to get in here. You're going to stick it in and kind of screw it in. You'll feel it bottom out. And then we'll install it in the law folder. Now you want it to be in here so that that notch is at the back of the buffer tube. You don't want it to be kinked or any way because that could actually prevent the SES from seating properly against the retainer here. And then just as before, if you put your buffer tube on, you're just going to screw it in. And you're going to feel you're going to hold it down so that that lip of the buffer tube actually slides over that little notch. From here, you're going to apply your your 243 Loctite on your buffer tube. Tighten your castle nut down. Don't need to put a whole lot of pressure on here. Open it back up. Now, the SCS needs to be under some spring compression. You don't want it to be sloppy in there because if it's sloppy, you can induce premature wear on the SES. Not only that, it won't contact your adapter for your carrier and you're going to have some cycling issues. So right here, I'm just going to feel to make sure that it's actually under pressure, which this one is. If it's not, you're going to want to pull the SES out and you're going to slide one of our shims that we include in the kit. Now, if it's not enough, then you can add the second shim in there to increase that pressure or to make the pressure for that spring. Once you get there, you're good to go. Install this into your carrier. Now, this is different than the one that's going to come with the law folder itself. We have our special one specifically for the SES. All right, last thing to do after you install your SES, you're going to take your upper and you're going to install it back on the lower. And 
And then you're going to take our SES compatible law folder extension and you're going to insert it into the back of your carrier. After you close it, you're going to make sure that it actually engages the SES and there isn't any lurching. You want to make sure it's got positive pressure on it the entire time you're through charging. Once again, this is Patrick from JP Enterprises. Hopefully this installation was helpful. Uh, if there's anything else that you would like to see us cover in a video like this, please let us know in the comments below. And please follow us on all of our social media. Thank you.